It is Sunday night at the Monday Club in Webster Groves, and things are about to get rowdy-ish. Are you guys ready? Slide left, circle left, three places. Sometimes it sounds like square dancing. Sometimes it looks like line dancing. Sometimes it feels like navigating your way through an airport on Thanksgiving. But in reality, this romping, stomping, come as you are style of dancing is called Contra. You can bring anybody here, and if they can walk, they can do it. Swing that neighbor. For people of a certain age, and a lot of these people certainly are, calling this dance Contra sounds like it involves swapping arms for hostages. But this kind of Contra is really about swapping partners for fun. Nobody really knows the origin of it. Very possibly it only meant country dancing. It could also have meant opposing dancing where lines pose each other in Contra. But uh, throughout history it's actually meant different things. But on Sunday nights in St. Louis, it just means neighborly merrymaking. And it has ever since Child Grove Country Dancers formed in U City in the 1970s, reviving a style of dancing that dates back to the 1600s. It's sort of like square dancing, the moves are like square dancing, only you're not in a square, you and your partner interact with another couple for about 30 seconds and do a series of moves, and then you move on to the next couple down the line. The stomping, I feel like, is part of the we're in this together, boom, let's make some noise. <laughs> I'm not that smiley of a person, but when you're dancing, you can't not smile. And so when people ask me about it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the most amazing thing. They'll be like, okay, how do I try it? And I'll say, just come dance, it'll be great. It might seem like anyone fleet of foot could dance these dances to just about any old timey tune, but contra dancers actually march to a different beat. There's a very specific format of 64 beats. The dances are 64 beats, the tunes are 64 beats. Uh, you find sometimes melodies that fit one dance better than the other, and you kind of remember that, but they don't have to. There are tunes that are wrong, called crooked tunes, and very rarely a band accidentally plays one, and it's really noticeable, because the dances just don't work. Although these weekly dances draw just about every kind of person you can think of, Contra dancing seems to have a special appeal to folks like engineers, mathematicians, and quilters. In other words, pattern people. But contra dances are equally rewarding for nice people who just like meeting other nice people. It's great to have a place where we can all just dance together and we don't talk about politics. I'm sure there are people that have different views than I do and we don't have to talk about it. It's cool. We're here. You're a human. I'm glad that you're here and I'm dancing with you. You have I just find this building of a kind and caring community, just an overwhelming reason to do this. The Contra dancing resurgence began in the hippy-dippy, wavy-gravy counterculture movement of the 1960s. And in some parts of the country, interest is still growing. But St. Louis is not one of those places. They've tried tapping into social media. They've even attempted to recruit new dancers through flash mobs. But it's been a tough sell, even though they claim learning to Contra dance couldn't be easier. Still, they are not giving up, hoping this good old-fashioned way of dancing will grow again through good old-fashioned word of mouth, bringing them new recruits to follow in their footsteps. I love it when new people come and, you know, and they're really kind of uh, cautious about it. And then at the end of the evening, I always, I always ask them the same question. I say, do you have any fun? They say, oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's just a blast.